Yeah, yeah, fine. Oh, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you very um, much. Really interesting presentation there. Um, we've, you know, we had the supply chain crisis for, during COVID. What, what have we learned from that? What lessons have been taken forward, both by shippers and by the shipping lines? Yeah, that's a really good question. So during the COVID period, we had so many, how say, experience, uh, even very bitter, <laughs> bad experience. And one of the, uh, the big things and the experience, the how to keep the like, supply chain. Okay. So, of course, there are so many things we cannot handle, that we cannot control. However, the most important part, the how to uh, comply with the customer's requirement. Uh, so then, uh, even like I say, uh, the information sharing or like uh, the delivery uh, say, arrangement, whatever, there are so many constraints there. Uh, and also, the, sometimes the customer very upset, uh, then we couldn't uh, the satisfy their requirement. It's, uh, but uh, even, even limited area, uh, we uh, say, uh, tried uh, to uh, support their requirement as much as possible. Then, yeah, that is our baseline and our how say, obligation in the, this shipping industry, how to uh, the, the ensure sub, their supply chain. Um, and now we've come out of that period now. Um, what, what lessons have you taken from that in terms of the services you're providing? Uh, yeah, that one of the points, like I say, especially during the COVID, like I say, the, like I say, um, the work style also changed, whatever. And then the customer really preferred to have the more, say, um, the digitalization approach, uh, especially from the CX perspective. And then we really focus on that area, how to um, the communicate uh, with customers through the, our uh, platform itself uh, to enhance our, say, uh, digitalization, uh, the activity. Uh, then uh, that, that's really an important area uh, from yeah. the customer viewpoint. So that's one of the big points we Could highlight. you uh, give a bit more explanation on what sort of digitalization initiatives you've taken? Yeah, so probably, like I say, requirement itself is quite various from the customer viewpoint. Like I say, big customers, more like API connection, uh, should be more standard uh, how say, structures. And the more small, medium customers, they really prefer to have more very useful uh, the digital platform uh, provided, uh, service provided by uh, even carrier as well. So then uh, we are trying to, our say, uh, digital platform to make it more user-friendly. <laughs> and also even like I say, one of the like, uh, big things uh, during the COVID period, the traceability itself, it's a very, very basic <laughs> function, but quite important from the supply chain management perspective. How to um, the ensure, the, how to provide the like a more say, accurate information through that type of digital platform. This is quite uh, important part. And also we uh, say develop uh, so many functions there. So, yeah. So you, you're getting much more accurate on that information now and uh, the timings and where the where shipments yeah. are? Yeah, so still, <laughs> unfortunately, still we have so many things to do and not the perfect uh, situation yet, uh, but uh, we are trying to enhance the capability because that is quite a uh, basic point, but quite important point from the supply chain management perspective. That's our uh, understanding. Okay, yes, I definitely understand that. And just looking ahead, um, the market's obviously changed now. Would you say the market's normalized that we're in? Yeah, market itself is normalized. Well, say um, cargo flow or demand itself are still like a some of uh, the like, uh, demand issue there. But uh, like a car, cargo flow itself is normalized. And the point is, like I say, more as a capacity side issue uh, than a little bit unbalanced. And also the, uh, during the, my presentation, I touched on the still even normalized, but still we have so many uncertainty uh, here and there uh, from the operational point of view, or even like I say, um, the, some of the uh, tension, uh, political tension, whatever. So that, that area still, uh, we have some challenge there. And how do you cope with those challenges? How do you plan ahead? Yeah, so that's a good question because the, <laughs> that issue is quite various. Even now, even today, we can tackle something. <laughs> Tomorrow, the new thing is coming. So the point is like, how quickly we can um, be understand what's going, what's happened. Then how quickly we can uh, how say, come up with a solution to collaborate with the say, operation guy or marketing guy or somewhere, any other thing. How quickly as a 
entire ONE as a shipping company to respond to that issue quickly. That, that is quite the important part, I believe. Okay, great. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time and for those insights. Thank you very much.